Hello, everybody. Welcome to the pilot session of a tutorial for designing your module on OpenEvo. Now that you've decided that your module can fit well within, within our ecosystem, you've requested your module or, get, or been assigned a sandbox module, you can begin to design your module. So let me show you some of the ways that we can do this. Currently, you're in the designing your module tile within the teaching on OpenEvo. But let's go to your test module. Here I've created an example where we may want to develop a core module around the concept of DNAV within the broader frame of ProSocial. So this is what your module will look like when you get your, your course assigned. It will be hidden when you get it, meaning it can't be accessed. And currently, uh, you'll you'll request to to make it public when when it's ready to 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 do so. Uh, so you'll see basically that you'll have four blank tiles. You'll have an announcements uh, uh, section. You'll have some blank space here. And so what you'll want to do is first click up on the gearbox, go to edit settings. And these are, these are the core settings for your course. So here you see the full name, the short name, which is used in different, in different sections. Uh, you can uh, see the course category that you're currently in. Um, uh, you'll, you'll see the visibility as currently hidden. You can see, you can set a start date and you can decide if you want it to be an open-ended or uh, uh, or closed ended course. You can add a, just a summary, a course image, and then I recommend you generally don't uh, engage too much down here, but you can, for example, decide if you want tiles uh, um, or which is generally what we recommend. Um, don't pick the tile icon because you'll do that individually. You can choose from just among these colors. That's that's the part of the limits of the system. Um, we generally recommend you don't use subtiles. Uh, if you don't use, if you don't check this as I recommend, then your course will look like this. It will have icons here, like this, for the different activities. Whereas if you do click tiles, it will be a little bit. Uh, if these are subtiles, uh, it will be a little bit more clunky. So generally, don't you don't need to click anything here, um, and we'll explain groups in a different in a different session. So this all looks good for me right now. So I'm going to click cancel. But if you changed something, you would click save and display. So now I'm back in the in the course area, and let's say I want to add a description to the course. So I'm going to go to the gearbox, turn editing on. And you see if I so so now you'll see that instead of tiles, it's it's organized like this, and so you'll know that you're in the editing mode. Uh, and sometimes that's confusing, but you can always check if here I can turn editing off, and I'll go back to the tile mode, and here I can't edit anything. So I'll turn editing back on, and so now you can begin to edit the tiles. But let's first add. Let's first add a little description of the course that we're trying to create. So in this white space, you, 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 the tiles are always at the bottom, and there's this white space at the top where you can add an activity or resource. Some reason it's not working. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to add an activity or resource. So you can add an activity to the top, uh, or you can add it to any tile. Um, but this is what the basic uh, uh, set of activities we can we can add. We're we're going to be continuing to add different activities that we can download, and you can also request activities uh, from the Moodle broader Moodle plugin ecosystem. But we want to add just a little text. And so this is a little counterintuitive, but what you're going to use is the label activity. 
to insert a text box. And so now, because Moodle is like a database, it is a database, and so you're basically creating the entry for this text box at the top of your page. So the label text is going to say this, um, welcome to the DNAV core module in the ProSocial Schools sec section of Open Evo. Just as an example, and now I want to make that a header. So I'm going to change that to a large header format. I could also uh, have um, an additional description here in normal text. You could also add images, videos, and later I'll show you how to embed even uh, Google Slides in a professional way. So I will save and return to course. Now you see we're still in editing mode because these tiles are like this instead of in their normal tile format. Here we can see the header. And now we can just, for example, drag that to the top. If we wanted to add more text, we could either add it to this box or add another label somewhere else. Um, we could add an image above here if we wanted. So now let's try to create a tile. So first we want to give the tile a name. First we'll call it Introduction to DNA V. Now we want to give it a tile. So I'm going to click a tile image. So I'm going to click the tile image. And I'm going to click on Photo Library. Now here, because we've uploaded other content about DNA V, this happens to be the image here that we want to use. So I'm going to use, I'm going to just click this image, and you can see that's that's there. Um, but now let's say uh, let's say we wanted to add a different image. Let's say the next unit will be called Discoverer. And let's say here we want to upload our own image. Let's go to Upload New Photo. And just wait for it to load. And then you can just, for example, I've downloaded a DNAV uh, uh, compass graphic. Uh, for use here with citation, and we'll so we'll add that as the upload. Save changes. And now you can see the new the new tile. You don't have much control over how the tile appears, um, but I can show you now. So if we if we go to again the gearbox is always going to be at the top. Turn editing off. And so now you can see your image will appear in the background with the title like this. And so now let's say we want to add some content. Let's go to Introduction to DNAV. Now you see we're in the tile. We're still in Editing Off. If we get out of the tile, we could turn Editing On here. Uh, or we can just go into the tile, and then we can click the Edit button. Now we're editing this section. This is this is the we're editing the tile uh, as as a whole, the content. And so here you're going to see the same add activity or resource. So we might want to start off with a text box again. So we'll add a label. We can say we can add a simple question like, "What is the DNA V model for healthy?" development. And let's say we want this to be maybe a small heading. And then we'll click Save and Return to Course. And now we could add another activity. So for example, maybe we want to add a folder where we could place different resources. We could create a name of a folder, and then we could set who can upload uh, different files to this folder. We want to do that right now. Um, we could also add 
simply a URL. So if we add URL, and let's say we want to link back, we always want to reference uh, the authors. And so we're going to uh, create a link to the Louise Hayes and Joseph Chirochi Thriving Adolescent website. And we'll add um, downloads from Thriving. So we could add a description that we could display or not. Um, great resources from the developers of the DNA view model. Okay, and you don't really need to to, to change um, uh, this. You can actually change if you want it to uh, embed within or open in. Uh, a new link or in a pop-up. So let's see, we'll try in uh, embed, save and display. So now that's embedding it within within the uh, the tile. So it would look like. Let's see what it would look like. Um, go to introduction to DNAV as our tile. And so now we, are, we can turn editing off. So now we're seeing this, what this would look like in the module. So we'd see what is the DNA V model for healthy youth development. We might click on this for downloads and then we'll get this embedded uh, in, this, uh, in this nice little pop-up window. Um, where people can download their materials. Uh, and so the last thing I'll show you here is that we might also, we, we might want to link to a, a different web page like that, but we may also want to have our own unique content, and that's where you can add a page. So we might want to have something, something in the introduction to get teachers thinking about using DNAV in their school, so we might call it using DNAV in your school. And we can say, how can we use DNAV in our school? We might want to display that description, and then we could have content. Here are ideas for implementing DNAV in your school. And we could have, for example, a bullet list. Hold a teacher training. Engage with students, etc. And so now we will save and display. And now we will go back to our tile. And we'll turn editing off. You can see again that you can, because you can move these around, you can tell that editing is on and that it's not in the tile format. So we'll turn editing off. And now we want to check it. So using DNAV in our school, how can we, and so now we see that it's this pop-up. And again, we could add images, videos, uh, even Google Drive, and, and we will show you that in future uh, sessions. You can also have students uh, click to check that it's done, or you could, for example, include a activity that requires them to answer a question, and we'll show you this in future tutorials. So I hope you've enjoyed this fir first tutorial. It's uh, Moodle is a very open platform that has huge possibilities. It, it can be a little clunky to learn, but once you learn the, the, the tricks, uh, and experiment around, I think you'll find that you can get your teaching concepts uh, quite beautifully represented uh, in, in the system. So I will uh, turn off the recording and see you at the next event.